I'm going to show you what changes are ahead for the new Paperwhite 3 when the over-the-air software update arrives in the next uh, few weeks. I have a review copy here on the right of the new Paperwhite which is loaded with an early version of the software to try out and Amazon warned that uh, there could be some bugs in this compared with the final release which will be coming to the new Paperwhite and also the Paperwhite 2, the existing Paperwhite and the Voyage. I haven't found any problems with it yet and I think it is helpful to see uh, what, what this new typesetting engine is going to do. What I'm showing here is a book that has the new typesetting. Uh, it's a book about George Washington which I bought and the first thing you'll see is I'm on the smallest of the eight font sizes and the drop cap is uh, more nicely placed on the new typesetting engine over here compared with the current one. There's a little sp uh, space beneath that first H in the chapter and uh, if we zoom in you can see that more. Uh, there's the, the drop cap on the new typesetting engine with the H just nestled in there nice and tight and uh, over here there's a little it's just not as uh, snugly nestled, nestled in there, uh, the drop cap. The overall layout of the page when at this smallest version, it's a, it's a little tighter and uh, on the paper white side, it, it looks good at this smallest font. So let's go in now to a, a larger font size to see, uh, I'm going to take you to the font size that I usually read at on both of them and uh, third from the top. Now one thing you're seeing here is that the Paperwhite 2 doesn't show the, the Bookerly font. Bookerly is available with the new software update which hasn't arrived yet uh, and on the Paperwhite 2 there's only the Chichilla, I think you call it, Chichilia. Uh, and they're very similar in look, but I think the Bookerly font is uh, a little nicer. So with this uh, view, one thing you can start seeing is that the uh, there's hyphenation. Uh, you don't see any hyphenated words on the existing typesetting engine, whereas over here on the new one, you start seeing some hyphens showing up, and that gives the ability to pack the words in a more pleasing way. Uh, we go into the next page here and uh, again you see the hyphenation uh, showing up under the new typesetting engine. I want to show you a couple of very fine points that exist in the new typesetting engine that Amazon pointed out in the press release. And the first one is called kerning. And I've got the same word here on the, the new paper white which has the new typesetting engine. And I want to point out the word uh, tremendously. Now first of all you're seeing that it's hyphenated in the new typesetting engine which gives a, a chance to tighten up the display versus what you see over here without hyphenation. But beyond that, uh, the Y in LY of tremendously, the tail of it is tucked a little bit under the L. Uh, I'm going to zoom in so you can see it later, but over here the tail of the Y, there's no, it, there's no overlap or underneath the L effect to it. And that's called kerning. Let's, let's zoom in and we can see if you can see uh, the difference here. Um, so when you get to the, the Y here, this tail goes a little bit underneath the base of the L. It's a very, you have to really look for it to, to see the effect of it. And then when you get over to here, the Y is lined up. So if you, you could draw a line down between the L and the Y, and uh, you wouldn't be intersecting that tail of the Y. So that's something which apparently helps a little bit of the look of the page. I think maybe it's, it's kind of a subconscious effect. And the work to get that into this new typesetting engine is something that uh, Amazon thought was worth doing, and I, I kind of admire them for it. The other fine point that exists in the new typesetting engine is called ligature. And this we can see in the word first, which has an F and an I in it. And we'll zoom in to see this, but in the new version, the F and the I actually get made into 
kind of a combined two letters called a ligature. There's no dot on the I or it becomes part of the, the F. Whereas over here in the existing type setting, it's, uh, there's two separate letters. Let's zoom in and we'll see it. So here is what it looks like on the existing type setting engine. You get the F and then the I, two separate letters. And then over on the, uh, the new type setting engine, that F and the I uh, create a kind of a single combined letter called a ligature. A third uh, benefit of this new typesetting engine, which Amazon highlighted, is, is that at higher sizes of fonts, the reading is uh, more, it, it's easier to read and the pages look better. And I think you can see this here. We'll scroll through a couple of pages. But uh, on the existing uh, typesetting engine, you've got kind of a big space here. It's trying to justify it so it spreads the words out in ways that sometimes get awkward. Over here on the new engine at the highest level of font, the biggest font, uh, everything's kind of pushed over to the left and it's, uh, and you've also got the benefit of the hyphenation. You get some kind of funky effects here in spacing at the highest level of font uh, on the existing typesetting and it just looks a lot better on the new one. That's going to be a real benefit to the people that use the Kindle precisely because they can see such large fonts and the difficulty reading and they're going to see quite a, a benefit from this new typesetting engine that's going to be available uh, within the coming weeks on both the, the new Kindle Paperwhite and it'll also be coming to update uh, existing Paperwhite 2 and also the Kindle Voyage. So these improvements in the typesetting engine I think are going to, they're very uh, nuanced and quite picky. I think they show the amount of work that Amazon is putting to keeping the Kindle platform to be uh, just better and better and the changes that you can make at this point seven years after the introduction of the Kindle, uh, coming up on eight years I guess, uh, it, it, you're working on smaller and smaller details but when you keep doing it, that's how you keep this uh, Kindle e-reader to be uh, kind of in a class by itself at this point in terms of the quality of the reading experience. If you have an existing Paperwhite, you should see these changes uh, arrive. Uh, I, I believe the software version will uh, be 5.6.1. 5, 5 Let's see. 5.6.5 5 is what it will show up on the new Paperwhite. And uh, I, I don't know if that's going to be the same software version for the existing Paperwhite or not. And then the Voyage will probably have a different uh, number for the software update. But all three of them should be getting this. I don't know if some of the older Kindles are going to be able to keep up with this uh, new typesetting engine or not. But those kind of top three devices in terms of how recently they were released uh, should all have it. So if you see... Uh, uh, some kerning or some ligature show up. Uh, it, it also, it's not in all books yet. It's in half a million books and uh, Amazon says they're going to be adding thousands of books uh, each week to uh, have more and more books take advantage of this typesetting, but uh, it may be a while before it's prevalent, uh, half a million out of uh, the books that the Amazon site is uh, you know, sort of a modest proportion of it to start with. The, the, the place you'll see it most clearly is if you're seeing at the start of a chapter that drop cap is nicely snuggled into the text. That means that you've got the latest typesetting engine and that you're reading a book that is taking advantage of it. Hope this is helpful. This is Len Edgerly in Cambridge, Massachusetts for the Kindle Chronicles.